Buenas dias, muchachos y muchachas. Today we're yet again on a motorbike, on a motorbike taxi, headed towards the, headed towards some waterfalls outside of Samaipata. A 10, 10 minute drive or so out of Samaipata called Cuevas. This is gonna be beautiful. This city or this little town, this setting here in the mountains, rolling hills, waterfalls, wineries, it is beautiful here. Just take a look. Just take a look over to the mountains over here. It is absolutely stunning. And I think today the weather is fantastic as well. The last three days it's been raining. So now we're gonna go and we're gonna get a dip, most likely in those waterfalls. Let's go. Let's go explore. So we have arrived off the, off the bike now. What a beautiful drive. Take a look at that mountain over there behind me. It's driving, we were driving down through this canyon, through this, uh, yeah, canyon, that's the word. Driving down with these crazy mountains like this one over here, just poof, white up. It looks like a, looks like a wisdom tooth or something like that. So yeah, we're here now. This is the entrance. There's a little house here, the guys who, who keep the path clean and all that sort of stuff. The river itself is down here and it's looking good. It's looking real good. It's clear waters. The weather is fantastic. So I say, let's go. Let's go and find those, those waterfalls and see what it's all about. And the weather is fantastic, so we can definitely get a dip as well. Let's go, let's go explore. First cascada, first waterfall is coming up right here. It's quite nice, just a small one. Look at that. Just a small little waterfall, not that big. There's even a, there's even a ring if you can't swim. You can jump, you can drop yourself in the ring <laughs> to just float around. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I think we need to go. There's three waterfalls here. So this is waterfall number one. I think we need to go all the way to the top first and then make our way back down. I was just looking at this plant over here. 
completely unrelated to the waterfall itself. What is this? What is this? Do you know what this is? Leave a comment down below. Are this... Is this banana plant? Is it choclo? Maize? What is it? I think, like, I was thinking it's banana plants. But I'm not sure. Because obviously there's no bananas. But I know that bananas have these kind of... These round, drop-shaped... Uh, fruits or whatever plant flowers on them but I'm not sure what these are if it is bananas tell me I'm correct in, in the comments down below if not tell me what it is and yeah with the view of the first cascada of the first waterfall I'm already excited to see because they get bigger as we go so I'm already excited to see what's coming for the next waterfall Let's go and explore. Let's go and find it. And look at the river here. The water is, safe to say, very cold. But it's completely clear. There's little tiny fishes in there as well. And there's just... You gotta jump your way over the rocks here. So let's have a go at that. It's not that difficult. You gotta find, you gotta keep an eye out as you go up for where is the best spot to have a dip when you come back down and you've built up the, uh, the heat. Oh, there's someone out there already having a dip. Let's copy them. We've come to the second waterfall. We found it on the way up to the third. And this is on the top here. Look at this. Woo. That is a view and a half, that. <laughs> Beautiful. Gone. I'll put you out here. Take a look at that. That is gorgeous. And over here on the other side as well. We have another stream of water falling down. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Look at that. This is giving some shaky legs standing here. <laughs> That's for sure. But it is gorgeous. There's one person down there already. <laughs> beautiful. Look at that! There's even a slight touch of rainbow there. That's fantastic. And look, we have a family out on a photo shoot or something. They're all in a match going up to the third waterfall. All right. This is just getting better and better and better by, by every waterfall. And look at those mountains again over there. Absolutely gorgeous. Massive, massive mountains. If I sit like that, you could see them in the background. That is gorgeous. <laughs> I'm getting in the mood for a dip here. Now, the Santa Cruz area is fast becoming a favorite of mine. The weather is great. The nature is beautiful. People is nice. Loving it. Let's go. Buen dia. Buen dia. Take a look. A last look at that waterfall. And then let's go. Oh! There you are. Can you hear that sound in the background? It's the sound of the third waterfall over there. Another big looking waterfall. That looks fantastic. It just gets better and better. Each waterfall, step by step. But here we go. We are coming down. 
to the foot of the waterfall here. Wow. Look at this. There's even a sand beach. Isn't that fantastic? There's no one here. Yeah, that definitely calls for a dip. Whew. Let's go. That is stunning. I'm gonna get in my shorts, in my swimming shorts, and then we're definitely gonna have a dip here. Vamos. Let's get a dip. Look at that. I'm in my swimming trunks now. This is gonna be cold, <laughs> but it's also gonna be nice at the same time. Oh my God, it's cold, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. We at least have to get under. If not, we just sit down. <laughs> but take a look at the waterfall here behind me. Oh! Woo! Ah, it's cold. Oh my God. Woo. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, Woo. beautiful. Oh, it's actually not, <laughs> not too bad once you're under. Wow. Take a look at the waterfall from down underneath it here. It's not very deep. It's just waist height. Like, look at me. If I extend the camera out, you can see more. It's not very deep. It's just about waist height. Let's get closer. <laughs> I love this. This is fantastic. <laughs> oh yeah. This is why we do it. This is why we do it, isn't it? Let's go down again. Beautiful. Let's go. I'm gonna sit over on the rocks or on the beach over there where the family is standing right now and just dry up, take in the views, and just enjoy it, listen to some music. This is beautiful. Put this on your list if you're in Tamay Pata. What a place. That is fantastic. A dip under fresh, cold. It's probably five degrees warm, this water. Oh, but it's beautiful because it's hot outside today. Let's go and investigate real close. Get a little shower now that we've gotten a bit braver. That is gorgeous. Oh, I like this. <laughs> that is something you should always do. Even if you're scared of the cold water, just get in. It's never something you regret afterwards. It is just absolutely splendid feels so good. Your heart goes pumping. The beauty once you're out again. And you get warm quick in this weather as well. That's a massive point for these waterfalls by Samai Pata. Put it on your list. Wow. All right. So, the dip has been done. 
We're back in the clothes and we're back, headed back down from the waterfalls now. And as I was just walking out from the beach here, I noticed down here by my feet, by the rock, you have these massive ants here. Those were the guys that were picking on me, that were eating me before. Look at this guy here, picking leaf cutter ants, carrying this massive leaf. They are fantastic, the strength that these guys have to carry this. You can see how they're doing teamwork to carry this bigger leaf right there. That they're trying to, and the other guy is like, oh, I'm coming past. Give me pass, give me passage here. Oh, and they are living down underneath the rock there. Isn't that fantastic? These massive ants, the leaf cutter ants. I love them. You never see those over in, in Europe. Every time I see them down here in South America, I always stop and just they amaze me every time. They just amaze me. It's like, it's like, do you know that these are the, actually the strongest, some of the strongest animals on the planet, if you measure it by how much weight they can carry relative to their own body weight. With that said, take a look at that waterfall once again. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna miss this place. This is gonna go right up on my list of places around in Bolivia. Now I'm very excited to explore some more of the Santa Cruz area, of the Santa Cruz state itself, or the Santa Cruz department. I'm here leaving Samaipata today and we're gonna head into the into the city of Santa Cruz itself now this afternoon gonna spend the weekend in there and then I think by Monday we're gonna head out to what's called Chiquitania out towards the Brazilian border I heard that there's a train going out that way so I'm really really excited for that also it's gonna be my birthday during those days so we're gonna I'm gonna celebrate my birthday riding a train through the through the lower lands out to Brazil with a beer or a glass of wine or a gin tonic something like that on a train rolling through a beautiful landscape making videos hiking exploring hopefully we're gonna see some phenomenal animals out there as well monkeys snakes all that sort of good stuff get some beautiful hikes done and yeah, that is what's coming up next on the trip. I am really excited for that. Now we're down from the Andes mountains and we're down in the hot weather. And I can use some of that hot weather. Let that be for sure. And with that said, I don't know if there's gonna be much more of things of interest today. If not, I will end the video here. Otherwise, because we're just headed back, going to get another moto taxi or something like that to get back to the city. And then we're going to head or back to the town of Samaipata. And then we're headed off to Santa Cruz de la Sierra, the city itself, the capital of the state of Santa Cruz. Let's go. If I don't see you before I'm in Santa Cruz, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.